Hello everybody, Chanchal Bos here. Welcome to another session of Linux tutorial. If you have installed Linux after installing Windows, you get a boot menu wherein you get the option to boot Linux or Windows. There are situations when you need to reinstall Windows. Once you reinstall Windows, Windows overwrites master boot record and your options to boot Linux using grub prompt is gone. You have Linux in your hard disk, still you cannot boot to Linux. This video will demonstrate how you can sort out this problem. For demonstration purpose, I am not going to reinstall Windows again. Rather, I am going to use a Windows trick to override the MBR instead of going through the whole hog of installation routine. As you can see, I have Linux and Windows installed on the system and I can boot onto both Windows and Linux. Now, I have logged on to windows using my password now to overwrite master boot record i'm going to use a windows trick i'll click shift click restart this will give me a different option usually the option that you have not seen earlier that is choose an option i'll click troubleshoot click advanced option then click command prompt now once you click command prompt windows will reboot and you will get a windows command prompt once the command you get the command prompt there you need to type two commands boot rec space slash fix mbr then you need to type a second command boot rec space slash fix boot here is my command prompt and i am going to type boot rec dot exe space slash fix mbr and the, then the second command boot rec slash fix boot once you have typed these commands windows will overwrite master boot record where earlier grub was sitting now once grub boot menu is overwritten and now if you click continue windows will restart and you will see there is no grub nothing there is no option to boot onto your linux system so to get out of this situation now, we'll use CentOS DVD, install DVD. You can very well use Red Hat's DVD or mostly Linux DVD or scientific Linux DVD. The options are same. Once you have selected this DVD, go to the rescue mode and you will get these screens. And finally, you get a rescue mode option. press tab select ok we don't need network so next in the next screen press tab select continue the system will start the rescue environment next command that you need to type is already there chroot slash mnt slash sysimage press tab and select ok now press tab and select ok now you get the option to start a shell prompt press tab and select ok and the shell has started press controller control l to clear the screen now you have a shell prompt here on this shell, shell prompt i'm going to type the command that i have already told you to type earlier that is chroot slash chroot slash mnt slash cc image and after that grub install slash dev slash sda once you type this command and press enter it will take two three seconds and next this screen will appear yes hopefully everything has been done successfully now press ctrl d to log out and finally press tab to re after selecting reboot the system and your system will reboot and next time around you will see that your grub boot prompt has returned and you now you can boot onto both windows and linux thank you